Praise the living God. Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank you for today. Coming to your presence here in the United Gospel Church International Headquarters. Today has been Glorious Sunday, the 12th of uh, February in the year 2023. The Lord has directed me to Genesis 2, verse 9 precisely. But let me take it from verse 8. The Lord God planted a garden eastward in heaven, and there he put the man whom he had formed. The Lord God formed the man, breathed unto him, and became a living soul. And out of the ground the Lord God made every tree grow that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. That is the verse 9 he asked me to emphasize. Okay? The tree, and out of what? Out of the ground the Lord God made every tree grow that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. But I'm bringing out here an application. God wants me and you to be pleasant. God wants me and you to be good. Whatever made even tree to be pleasant to the side and good for food, that means he wants me and you humans to be what? To be pleasant and be good. The question now is, how can we be pleasant? How can we be good? What is pleasantness? What is goodness? Whatever is pleasant is good. If it's not, if it's not good, it can't be pleasant. Okay? Whatever is good can also be pleasant. The two ways are working together. Pleasantness, goodness. They are working together. All right. Me and you, we know for sure that uh, sin is not pleasant. We know sin is not good. And see God, though, God gave us good trees that are pleasant to the sight. Okay? God wants me and you humans to be pleasant to the sight, to his sight, to the sight of God. And to be good, like himself is good. What will make you to be pleasant, what will make you to be good, is no other thing than the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Your characters must be good. Okay? And before your characters can be good and become pleasant, something will motivate you. Something will tutor you. Something will guide you. We know that not for you. Before you can be pleasant inside and before you can be good. For example, if you are good in mathematics, it's not the day you were born. You became good in mathematics or in any subject in the school. You are trained, you are guided, you are known and nurtured by your teachers before you became good. Like this for me and you to be pleasant in the sight of God to be good, something must tutor us. And what is it that will tutor us? Nothing else apart from the, from the Word of God. Me, you must meditate in the Word of God from time to time. Allow the Word of God to guide us, to tutor us. And what is it that the Word of God will do in my life, in your life, in order to make me and you to be pleasant and look good all the time and form our characters positively? To achieve what is positive and good from time to time. Let's see quickly. Second Timothy. Let's see how the word of God can tell your life, can mold your life for pleasantness and goodness all the time. The desire of God for me and you is that you should be blessed and even more. Pleasant than the trees. If a fruitful tree is pleasant and good, 
and a human being is not present and good, that's a big shame on that human being. But let's see how the word of God, what it has to do to shape me and you, to mold me and you. Okay? That we become pleasant and good from time to time. Now let's see. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse uh, 16. So all scripture is given by inspiration of God. All scripture is given by what? Inspiration of God. God inspired the writer, the writers of the word of the gospel. Like we receive songs through inspiration. Okay? And what are they to do? I take it again. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, not inspiration of man. That's what you have to understand. No man inspired the scripture. For God himself is the scripture. God is word. It is God who inspires, not any man. And this inspiration from God is profitable for number one, doctrine, that is teaching, for reproof, number two, number three, for correction, and number four, for instruction in righteousness. What will make you to be pleasant in the sight of God is number one, righteousness. You must be righteous. Your life will choose what is right all the time. Starting from the thought of your life, that more be positive all the time. Okay? You want to be pleasant in the sight of God? He is expecting righteousness from you. You must be righteous. And when we are talking of this righteousness, what are we saying? We are talking of law. Love is righteous. Peace is righteous. Joy is righteous. Goodness. Kindness. Long-suffering. Faithfulness or honesty. Meekness. Temperance or maturity. All these are righteousnesses of God. Okay? Praise the Lord. Perhaps the trees are righteous in doing what God ordained them to do. In bringing out the fruit God wanted them to bring out for me and you. Every righteous person must do what is right from time to time. Righteousness. Okay? That what may happen? That the man of God may be complete Thoroughly equipped for every good work. Who is a man of God? Every man God has created. Every Christian is what is referred to here. Every woman being is what is referred to here. That all of us may be complete. Complete in what? Complete in what is good. Okay? Complete in holiness. Complete in pure names, complete in truth, declaring truth all the time, complete in what is good, not in what is bad, but in what is good from time to time. That man may be complete in God Himself, who created man. That is, be like God. Jesus also be a perfect. As your heavenly father is perfect. Okay? Totally equipped for what? For every good work. The word of God will tailor you, we tutor you, we guide you, we nurse and nurse you. For this fourfold ministry of the word of God that God showed me, the Holy Spirit showed me, the fourfold ministry of the word of God. One, Doctrine to reprove three correction for instruction in righteousness. 
This is what you must have before you can be pleasant and before you can be good. If anything will to be pleasant, take note of it, righteousness. No righteousness of man, but righteousness of God, which is God himself. That is what we need to be righteous, to be pleasant from time to time. And what is it in society today? If all of us will take on to the righteousness of God, who is Jesus Christ, if all nations will emulate Jesus Christ, even if we don't follow Jesus Christ, if you can emulate him in the good things he has done, for he was faultless, he had no sin, then we will all, the world has been the world, a beautiful place for all. But see what is happening on this planet Earth. The system operating on this planet Earth is what we call the world. See how horrible it is. See how terrible it is. Therefore, for you to be pleasant, I want to show you. Without the ground, can the trees be pleasant? Can they grow? To talk of being pleasant in the sight of God? Can they be good? Something gives them strength to do that. Be God. For me, I need to be pleasant in the sight of God and to be good always. We need one person, and that is Jesus Christ. Without Jesus Christ in your life, it is difficult for you to, to, to be pleasant. It is difficult for you to be good. Okay? You may think I should be a being good. I should be and uh, decent people look at me. They say, yes, this man, you are okay, you are good, you are beautiful, you are pleasant. Fine. There is a difference between physical pleasantness and spiritual pleasantness. The physical pleasantness will end on this physical plane. It's not going beyond. For me and you need what goes beyond the spiritual pleasantness. The terrestrial goodness will end on this physical plane to not take you beyond. But me and you need the goodness that will take us beyond. We need the celestial goodness. Therefore, let me and you allow Jesus to mold us, to motivate our lives. To know some no show ups that we may from time to time be pleasant in the sight of God and man and be good in the sight of God and man. We God allow His Spirit to fill our eyes the more in the name of Jesus. God bless you as you allow the Word of God in the Holy Bible to shape your life so that all of us we make paradise of God in Jesus' name. God bless you all.